Welcome to Games and Names. Today, we explore the history of Egyptian judo, tracing its journey from ancient roots to the upcoming 2024 Paris Olympics. Judo has thrived in Egypt, attracting dedicated athletes who have risen to the top through hard work and perseverance. We honor past champions and pioneers who paved the way for today's athletes. Let's cheer on the Egyptian judo players heading to the Paris Olympics, showcasing their skills on the global stage. Join us for an inspiring look at the spirit of judo in Egypt. Thank you for tuning in to Games and Names. Judo is a dynamic martial art and Olympic discipline that emphasizes the principles of efficiency and mutual benefit. Participants, referred to as judokas, seek to utilize their opponent's energy in force against them. Judo is an unarmed modern Japanese martial art, combat sport, Olympic sport, since 1964 and the most prominent form of jacket wrestling competed internationally judo was created in 1882 by Kanjigar as an eclectic martial art, distinguishing itself from its predecessors, primarily Tenjin Shinyo Ryu Jujutsu and Kit Rai Jujutsu, due to an emphasis on randori free sparring, instead of kata, prearranged forms, alongside its removal of striking and weapon training elements, judo rose to prominence for its dominance over established jujutsu schools and tournaments hosted by the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department, resulting in its adoption as the department's primary martial art a judo practitioner is called a judoka, and the judo uniform is called judoji. The objective of competitive judo is to throw an opponent, immobilize them with a pin, or force an opponent to submit with a joint lock or a choke. While strikes and use of weapons are included in some prearranged forms, Kata, they are not frequently trained, and are illegal in judo competition or free practice. Judo's international governing body is the International Judo Federation, and competitors compete in the international IJF professional circuit. Judo's philosophy revolves around two primary principles, Siraiyo Ku Zenyo, good use of energy, and Jida Kaiwai, mutual welfare and benefit. The philosophy and subsequent pedagogy developed for judo became the model for other modern Japanese martial arts that developed from Kori traditional schools. Judo also spawned a number of derivative martial arts around the world, such as Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Krav Maga, Sambo, and Arb. Judo also influenced other combat styles such as Close Quarters Combat, CQC, Mixed Martial Arts, MMA, Shoot Wrestling and Submission Wrestling. At the 57th General Session of the International Olympic Committee, Held in Rome on the 22nd of August 1960, the IOC members formally decided to include judo among the events to be contested at the Olympic Games. The proposal, which was placed before the session by the Japanese delegation, was welcomed by all participants. The few who opposed had nothing against judo itself, but against increasing the number of Olympic events as a whole. There were only two dissenting votes in the final poll. For the first time in history a traditional Japanese sport, has been included in the Olympic competition judo was first contested as an Olympic sport for men in the 1964 games in Tokyo. The Olympic committee initially dropped judo for the 1968 Olympics, meeting protests. Dutchman Anton Giesink won the first Olympic gold medal in the open division of judo by defeating Akio Kamenaga of Japan. The women's event was introduced at the Olympics in 1988 as a demonstration event and an official medal event in 1992. The current rules of the game are derived from traditional rules, and priorities are always set to avoid danger while playing the game and prevent harm to players. Judo is practiced according to weights, as they are divided as follows. Men's weights, 60-66, 66-73, 73-81, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 81-75, 
and each player salutes the other in the referee. This is one of the traditions that continues to this day in all matches. There are four rules for calculating points in judo during a match according to the type of throw, and they are calculated as follows. Ippon, a knockout blow by knocking the opponent down on his back with the force of momentum and control. Whoever does it wins the match even if the time has not run out. Waziri, dropping the opponent on his shoulder with a lesser force, is counted as half an upon point, meaning that two Waziri points are equal to an upon move. Koka, knocking down an opponent on his back, and a quarter of an upon point is counted. Yoko, dropping the opponent on the side of the thigh, counting one upon point. The Egyptian judo teams has shown exceptional performance on the world stage in the last year, displaying skill, determination, and sportsmanship. They have achieved significant victories and high rankings, inspiring aspiring athletes in Egypt. Their successes have not only brought pride to the country but have also promoted global ties through sharing of culture. The 2023 Judo Harvest witnessed many events for the pharaohs, including brilliance, continental excellence, and record numbers. The beginning was with the brilliance of the Arab Championship, which was hosted by the Qatari capital, Doha, during the month of March 2023, in which the Sons of the Nile achieved eight medals, three gold, as well as silver and two bronze. At the level of African Championships, the pharaohs lead the African Championships at all ages and continuously, as the Egyptian youth won the African Championship Cup, which was held last July in Madagascar after winning 15 medals, 6 gold, the same silver and 3 bronze, which is what the Egyptian youth repeated after winning the Continental Championship Cup that was held immediately after the end of the youth competitions in Madagascar, also after winning 15 various medals, 8 gold, 2 silver, and 5 bronze. They were followed by a great achievement for the adult team, which won the African Championship Cup after collecting 8 medals, which were as follows, 3 gold, 2 silver, and 3 bronze, in the tournament hosted by Morocco in September the past. Isri Sami, the national team player, was able to win a bronze medal at the World Youth Championship in the under 60 kilograms competition, which was held in Portugal during the month of October 2023, achieving an achievement that had been absent for nearly 17 years.
Mohammad Ali Rashwin is a renowned Egyptian judo champion known for his exceptional talent and dedication to the sport. He has made a significant impact on the national team with his skill and commitment to excellence. Rashwin's journey to the top has been marked by hard work and perseverance, earning him admiration from fans and fellow athletes. Muhammad Ali Rashwan born in January 16, 1956, was a prominent Egyptian judoka between 1975 and 1992. In the 1984 Summer Olympics, he won the silver medal. Muhammad Ali Rashwan was born in Alexandria, Egypt. The first sport he played was basketball. It was a coincidence that led him to play judo when he saw a friend of his practicing it. This sport attracted him to begin training at the Young Men's Christian Club at the age of 16, under the care of his coach, Captain Abdelman Amalwash. To obtain in the Alexandria Under-18 Championship, just six months after he started training in 1975, Rashwan traveled to Czechoslovakia to participate in the international tournament held there. This was the first tournament in which Rashwan participated outside Egypt. He also traveled in the same year to Spain to participate in the tournament held there. Mohamed Rashwan won many international medals. In 1980, he won the bronze medal in the World Military Championships, which was held in Colorado and he won the same medal in the second championship, which was held in Brazil. In 1982, Rashwan won two African golds in the heavy and open weight, and he also kept them in the, the next tournament in 1983 ad. Rashwan also won the silver medal in the over 95 kilograms judo category at the 11th Mediterranean Games held in Athens, and his medal tally amounts to 31 medals, including 13 gold medals he won in the World Open Championships. Mohammed Rashwan entered the history of judo twice, once with his fine athletic ability, and once with his global level as a well-known champion in the Olympic tournament since he won the silver medal in the Los Angeles Olympics in 1984, when he deliberately lost to the Japanese, Yasuhiro Yamashita, the world champion, who was injured in the final match of this tournament championship. He refused to take advantage of his injury and preferred to lose the gold with honor rather than win first place with shame in order to gain the respect and appreciation of the world and all media outlets praised his noble stance on the day of the match unesco issued a statement in which it praised the position of the player mohammed rashwan and awarded him the sportsmanship medal from unesco which is considered the spirit of the olympic games before any results he was also awarded the fair play award in 1985 and the best sportsmanship award in the world from the International Olympic Committee for Justice, which exists in France. He was also honored in Egypt, and Rashwan was given another honor, but in Japan, where the Japanese masses received him with all respect and appreciation for his noble position. Rashwan reciprocated the love and respect of the Japanese people and married one of the daughters of Japan after she announced her conversion to Islam, and he had three sons with her. He also won the Pierre de Calbertin Award, founder of the International Modern Olympic Games in 1984, and received a special certificate of excellence for the best sportsmanship in 1984. He was among the six best players in the world in 1984. The French sports magazine, Equipe, chose him as the second best athlete in the world in terms of athletic character. Rashwan retired from the game in 1992, after which he became an international referee in the game and a member of the technical committee of the Judo Federation. Egyptian judo athlete Omar El Ramli has made history by qualifying for the 2024 Paris Olympics. His dedication and hard work bring pride to the Egyptian judo community. El Ramli's journey to the Olympics inspires aspiring athletes nationwide. With talent and determination, he proves himself as a strong competitor. His training and commitment secure his spot at the Games. El Ramli embodies sportsmanship perseverance, and resilience as he prepares to represent Egypt. In the world of judo, Egypt celebrated a momentous year as one of its champions surged to prominence on the international stage, captivating audiences with remarkable displays of skill and determination. With a series of outstanding performances, this judoka not only elevated their personal standing, but also brought honor to Egypt through their exceptional achievements. Last year marked a significant milestone for Egyptian judo, as Omar El Ramli emerged as a standout performer, making waves in prestigious tournaments around the world. The Egyptian champion, Omar El Ramli, won the gold medal in the African Judo Championship for Youth, which was held in Morocco last year, when he defeated the Senegalese champion, 
and won the 90 kg gold medal. Throughout the year, Omar El Ramli delivered a series of dazzling performances that captured the attention of judo enthusiasts worldwide. From gripping matches to awe-inspiring victories, their journey was marked by moments of sheer brilliance and unwavering determination, leaving a lasting impression on fans and competitors alike. With each competition, Omar El Ramli demonstrated unparalleled skill and tactical acumen, prevailing over formidable opponents with finesse and precision. Their ability to adapt to varying styles and strategies showcased their versatility and mastery of the sport, earning them admiration and respect from peers and rivals. The success of Omar El Ramli reverberated across the global judo community, propelling them to new heights of recognition and acclaim. Their achievements catapulted them up the international rankings, solidifying their status as one of the world's top judo competitors and cementing Egypt's presence on the global stage. Beyond their individual triumphs, Omar El Ramli served as an inspiration to aspiring judokas in Egypt and beyond. Their journey exemplified the values of dedication, perseverance, and sportsmanship, inspiring a new generation of athletes to pursue their dreams and strive for excellence in the sport of judo. Egyptian judoka Yusri Saini has achieved a groundbreaking qualification for the upcoming 2024 Olympics in Paris, marking a significant turning point in his athletic career. Through his unwavering commitment and exceptional skill, Saini has risen to the upper echelons of the sport, proudly representing Egypt on the global platform. In the world of judo, Egypt witnessed a stellar performance last year from one of its champions, who not only displayed remarkable skill and technique but also advanced impressively on the global stage. The journey of this Egyptian judo champion is a testament to dedication, hard work, and a commitment to excellence that has brought pride and recognition to the nation. Throughout the past year, Isri Saimi has emerged as a standout figure in the world of judo, achieving significant milestones that have elevated both their personal standing and Egypt's reputation in the international judo community. Whether through dominating performances in prestigious competitions or securing victories against formidable opponents, the champion's journey has been marked by excellence. Isri Saimi, the national judo team player, won first place and the gold medal during his participation in the 60 kg competition in the African Championship, which was held in Morocco last year. He also won second place in the silver medal during his participation in the 60 kg competition in the European Open Championship held in the Bulgarian city of Sofia, and the Egyptian champion lost in the final match to the 28-year-old French champion. To achieve a historic silver medal, Isri Sami also achieved third place and a bronze medal in the 60 kg judo competition at the Mediterranean Games after defeating the Algerian player Balaban. Don Yesri Sami, 
whose name is written in letters of light in the Egyptian judo records. After winning a bronze medal in the under 60 kilograms category in the world championship held in Portugal last year, Sami won the bronze medal after defeating Uzbek Zamoshri Bekmurdov, ranked number 24 in the world, with the Yoko sign in overtime of the bronze medal match. Isri Sami became the first player from the African continent to collect both an African Youth Championship medal and a World Championship medal since Tunisian Amema Badiwi in the 2018 edition. This medal is the first for Egypt at this age stage after an absence of 17 years, as the previous medal went to Ahmed Abu al Kair when he won bronze in the 2007 edition, which was hosted by the Dominican Republic. It is also the first medal for an African country in the World Youth Championship since Tunisian Amema Badiwi, the African champion in the under 48 kg weight category in the Bahamas in 2018. The Pharaohs player had started his career in the round of 32 by defeating Belgian Emily Martin, 55th in the world, with the Vazari sign before beating the Spanish Luis Barroso Lopez, 22nd in the world, with the Ipon sign before losing in the 8th round to the Georgian seed, Kaku Shabarishvili, world number 94 with the Ipon, signed to compete in the consolation competition and succeeded in defeating the champion of Uzbekistan with a golden point. Isri Sami also managed to get 5th place in the minus 60 kilograms competition within the Judo Grand Prix Championship, which was hosted by Portugal in January 2024. Sami came in 5th place after losing the bronze medal match to the Chinese Taipei player, Yang Yong Wei, with a score of 0-1, so Sami took 5th place. Isri Sami opened his matches by defeating Lin Chenyu, a player from Chinese Taipei, with a score of 2-1, and in the second round he faced Sven's Boris Ferrero Gizak, which he defeated with a score of 1-0. In the third round, Sami faced the Italian team player Andrea Carlone and defeated him 1-0 to qualify for the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sami Isri was able to defeat Zayerb Kavganzat, beating him 1-0 to reach the quarterfinals. The 60 kilograms Olympic classification witnessed the advancement of our national team player, Isri Sami, to occupy 29th place in his success in qualifying for the 2024 Paris Olympics. As the Egyptian judo champion continues to make waves on the global stage, the future holds immense promise. With a strong foundation of skill, determination, and experience, there is anticipation for even greater achievements in the coming years. The champion's journey serves as a source of inspiration for fellow athletes and a source of national pride for Egypt. Here ends this week's episode of your program Games and Names. We thank you for watching and goodbye.